summer may not be the best word for the meteorological mess of weather that we've been experiencing in the UK over the past few months, but summer is what it has been. So it's our duty to take a look at the past three months and the mobile games that came out within them. Here are our top five mobile games of the summer. Punishing Grey Raven caught us by surprise. In a sea of run-of-the-mill gacha grindathons, Punishing Grey Raven grabs the ARPG bull by the horns and then kicks its face off. In fact, this one's got more in common with a game like Bayonetta than it does Dragon Quest. As the commandant of an elite team of constructs called Grey Raven, you lead the mission and fight against the malevolent Corrupted. Combat is real-time, intense, and based around a unique combination of well-timed dodges and an orb-based combo system, which takes real practice to perfect. Like Genshin Impact, there's a ton of game here before you hit any gacha walls. You can switch between three squad mates mid-battle to take advantage of special abilities and long-range weaponry. Gear, upgrades, and even memories are unlocked as you progress, supporting both the action and the surprisingly involved narrative. And most importantly, the combat is legit, exciting, and rewarding. As longtime fans of the Kingdom Rush series, we were intrigued when developer Ironhide revealed it was abandoning the franchise's tower defense core for something new. The result is Apple Arcade exclusive Legends of Kingdom Rush, a squad based RTS with roguelike undertones that we think brings something fresh and delicious to the table. Keeping the fantasy trappings and excellent creature design of the early games, Legends of Kingdom Rush has you directing a small cluster of heroes against stages of assorted nasties across an ever-expanding, randomized world. You're moving, you're attacking, you're casting a spell, then waiting while the enemy does the same. And it's great. It's still got that light touch the series is known for with a rock-solid core. It's as mechanically sound as it is lovingly rendered with properly challenging battles and charm to spare. If you liked the also excellent Iron Marines, definitely give this one a go. You just threw your husband off a cruise liner. Can you get to dry land without being rumbled? This is the setup for Inkle's latest branching narrative delight, Overboard. Not so much a who done it as a you done it. The game has you desperately trying to outwit deceive, and flat out incriminate your fellow passengers to avoid being accused of drowning your hubby. This is from the team behind the superb 80 Days and the Sorcery series, so it's about conversation, decisions, and consequences. What's more, there's a ticking clock, as New York is hoving into view an hour at a time. There's so many potential ways you can slip the noose here. From researching your partner's shady activities, to staging a fake crime scene, to flirting with the deck boy, and it's designed to be replayable, offering a multitude of paths, encounters, and outcomes. It's also very, very good, and you should play it because of that. Android users were blessed with the XCOM 2 collection this summer, which gave us an excuse to go back and remind ourselves why these turn-based sci-fi smashes are so strong. Instead of defending Earth against an incoming invasion, XCOM 2 cast you as the plucky resistance fighting an already entrenched alien government. The two tiers of turn-based combat encounters and base building and management return, and they're both as solid and satisfying as ever. There have been some changes. You can now scoop up weapons on the battlefield, carry soldiers to safety or extraction, and experiment with a few new classes. This series has always felt at home on touchscreen, so, provided you've got the sizable 8 gig of required install space, we've got no hesitation recommending this one. Shooting hoops in style is what Ultimate Rivals The Court is all about. It's a 3v3 basketball game, which puts as much emphasis on outlandish tricks and neon vapor trails as it does on three-pointers and slam dunks. Gravity doesn't go out the window entirely, more it sits by the window, chattering at that squirrel in the garden. Though jumping and stealing are controlled through button taps, the game uses a clever sliding system for special moves, getting you to drag your finger from one button to another to perform impressive jumps and explosive dunks. There's a team roster to unlock and curate, stats to juggle and balance, and a bunch of modes including the obligatory multiplayer. 
bristling with visual and mechanical excitement, this one had us shouting at our screens in a good way. This video is sponsored by Mythic Legion's Tactics War of the Etherblade. Based on the Mythic Legion's toy line, this turn-based tactical strategy pits factions against one another in a battle for control of the Etherblade. Conquer the single-player campaign, test your skills in multiplayer, and customize your character's appearance and powers to win the day. Head over to the Kickstarter page to learn more about Mythic Legion's Tactics War of the Etherblade, coming to PC and mobile.